Hello, beer troopers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of Hobbit, sitting outside enjoying uh, <laughs> the last rays of sunshine in the shade. <laughs> Just because getting everything right with a camera in direct sunlight can be a bitch. <laughs> uh, unless you use your phone. Phones are much better for this. So I'm thinking maybe I'll start shooting outside stuff with the phone because I did. I don't, I'm not sure if it's aired already, but I did one video where I talked about my experience at NBCC. And I almost think the quality is better with my phone, but this is also an old camera, it's from 2012. So it's definitely easier shooting where everything changes with the light and everything on that. Because this one, you can see it's it's an older boy. It's the, the settings and yeah, it's just a bit harder to work with. Uh, but we're trying some Franconian beer today, some lager that I got home uh, with the help of Jason. So thanks a ton to Jason for the help. This is also from Bier aus Franken. And this is from Nickelbräu in Pretzfeld. And this is their Nickelbräu uh, Lagerbier. This is what they call their Helles Zwickelbier. So a Helles unfiltered lager. There's a Zwickel, there's a Kellerbier, and, and Lagerbier, and all these things that I've talked about so much in, about the Franconian beer. So I have, I've actually been to the brewery, but not in on my recent trip to um, Franconia. It was maybe three or four years ago. It's more than that. Maybe five years ago or something like that. It was actually on my first trip to Franconia uh, with my old place of employment. We had a bus ride around the countryside and this was one of the breweries we visited. We had lunch there. And I remember me and my old brewmaster really enjoyed the beers, especially because it was also a newer brewery. We were quite surprised about how good they were because uh, they're from 2008. And right across the street, there's a small distillery as well that makes a lot of schnapps from different fruits. Uh, so it was really cool to see that and visit them as well. So, uh, but what we're trying here is their Helles, as I said, and this is called the Nickel Zwickel. And it features water, barley malt, and hops and yeast. And the hops are Tetnang and Tetnanga. It says Tetnang and Tetnanga. So I guess just Tetnang hops. Uh, and uh, yeah. It's a creation from Bia Sommelier Mike Schmidt, the head brewer of, uh, of Nickel Boy. And I think it's a family, small family run brewery as far as I remember. They're also part of the Paul Reikasthöfe, which is a thing in Germany where a lot of breweries that also have like, some of them have hotels, uh, Gasthöfe, not everything is a Gasthöf in the guide. And I think some are also just like with restaurants. I think at least you have to have a restaurant to be in the guide, but they're part of that. And uh, it says it's good with white Weisswurst, which is, no, in fact, ah, that's funny. This is for you. <laughs> this is information about the brewery, like from nine to uh, five, you can get uh, Weisswurst, which is a white sausage, and Schäufele, which is the pork shoulder blade they have with the crispy skin. <laughs> Bia and water included as well, it seems, with uh, the dish. That's funny. And something you have to be 10 people to do it. Or <laughs> that's, that's like classic Germany. Like you have an advertisement for stuff like that on the, on the label of a beer. That's funny. Uh, so yeah, let's try some Nickel Boy again. I really liked it in the past. So this is like heavily unfiltered. It's just, look at that. Very hazy, speckle, very pale golden straw color. Looks very nice. Uh, even more hazy with the trub in the bottom of the bottle, bottle. And a nice streaming carbonation. Thick white head when I poured it out and you can see lacing really sticking to the sides. Let's check out the aroma on this one. Nice and mild, but it does have a fairly floral uh, kick to it from the Tetnang. Like almost like slightly soapy floral. But it smells, smells quite nice. There's some breadiness to it as well. Also some sweet doughy notes. And also just like fresh grain, like fresh, fresh grains, fresh malt. But it's, there's, there's an interesting like note to it. There's like, it's almost like perfumey a little bit actually. It's not like abrasively hoppy, but it's just, it's there. But yeah, very crackery and doughy and bready and, and light. And there's definitely some yeast character. There's like some apple or something or pear, like some light fruitiness. But really straw cracker reedy. It smells nice. Let's try it. Cheers. Quite full bodied. Chewy. And spicy and, and drying. This is actually quite nice. I remember being really into the beer at the brewery. They had a couple different beers. Oh, it's got a bit of a chalky bite on the end, which is not as nice. I think that's some of the yeast still in suspension. 
definitely not as clean as, you know, some of the other Franconian beers, but that's also because all the yeast is in suspension. I mean, there's a lot of trub in this bottle. But it's got a really nice hop flavor. Very grassy, spicy, like herbal. Again, like, or not herbal, floral, perfumey. This almost, like I said, perfume, like almost soapy floral note. But it's actually quite chalky on the aftertaste. It's like cracker and crisp and nice up front and nice hop flavor. And then there's just like this drying, chalky minerality on the end. And I really think that's like the yeast and suspension in the bottle. I think it's actually a little bit too much for its own good. Um, it's nice, but that chalkiness is just like a bit overbearing. And I'm, I'm just guessing it's the yeast. It could also be a water thing, but this bottle is, is also heavily, heavily hazy. Um, but just look at the conditioning on that. That ring, that looks beautiful. This is quite nice. Quite nice. Um, it's sick to be a, but there's just a couple things there with the, it's like not an off flavor. It's just like, because there's a, that chalkiness to it that's like subtracting a bit for me. Like I think it's too much like drying scrapingness on the palate that feels like just a layer of powder almost but it still has that like slight drying funny chalky end which is it's a shame because there's a really nice Helles Vicker beer hidden in here with a lot of yeast character as well which is really nice there's like that like stewed oh, stewed pale fruitiness and it, it's a bit like something like apples or pears that is really nice. And then with all that crackery, wheaty, doughy breadiness, it feels like a little bit like the farmhousey lagers that some American producers uh, try and make, like these fluffy, airy, kind of doughy, bready lagers. But I think there's just, it's a bit too like chalky, yeasty. So I'm thinking like an 87, 88, something like that. It could breach 90 for me. But that chalkiness just subtracts a little bit too much for me. Like, that's the only thing that's just dragging it down. It's like, I, I really dislike chalkiness in beer. That's one of my big, biggest, like, detractors. Like, the same, like, when haze has been crazy, there was a point where, like, some of those hazies were just, like, the haze is still crazy. Like, so chalky because there's so much chloride in the water. And it was just, like, calcium chloride. And it was just, like, too much. It was just, like... Oh, pasty wallpaper pasty it's not that far but there's just ounces of it and i think that's why i'm a little bit not too keen on it but fuck man look at the conditioning on that that is beautiful so still a nice beer and i think you should visit the brewery and i think you should try the beer as well if you can just uh, maybe it's my bottle or try some of their other beers as well because i also don't remember the beer being this hazy having it at the brewery but maybe this was not one I had. I'm not sure. It's been quite a few years. But if you guys had a chance to try Nick and Boy's Lager Beer, here is Svigler Beer. Let me know what you thought of it. Thanks a ton to Jason for helping me getting the bottle. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And I'm going to say cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.